because you haven't picked it. You have started the picking process. It's activated. Therefore, I go to the picking list registration, and as you see now, the process has been activated. Therefore, if you take a look at my lines, these lines have been automatically reserved. This is the second level of control. The picker says, you asked me to pick 1,500. You see, there are three levels so far. Originally, the transfer order says 1,500. Then the person who creates the picking list says, maybe 1,500, maybe less, maybe more. And the third level, which is right here, the person, the actual person who is supposed to do the picking says, I couldn't pick that many. Maybe I didn't have enough. You thought I have enough in there. Maybe I don't have enough capacity. Maybe I don't have enough time. Maybe I want to do a breakdown because of my restrictions on the warehouse. That's the third level of control. So therefore, right here, you could specify opt it all. And if it's serialized, of course, you have to reserve them. You have to pick the right serial number. Now, the status is changed to picked. If I go back to the transaction, you see that indeed on warehouse 100, you have picked 1500. And on 200, you're still awaiting that 1500 to come to you. Remember, the picking process is just a process, but the status can be reversed. If you have picked the wrong one, you can put it back into the warehouse. Now, after this, the next step, is go and indeed ship the transfer order. When we say ship the transfer order, there is another subject matter. We call it as a shipping order, which is outside of the scope of our subject matter at this time. Usually we train those on the warehouse training. This is an inventory training. You see the shipping could be a UPS. That means you pick it up, you package it, and then you give it to UPS. Or you just pick it up, UPS guys, FedEx guys come and package it for you and they charge you for it. We discussed the carrier interface there. But imagine it's you that you're shipping it. In that scenario, maybe the shipping itself has many stages. Like, I bubble wrap it. Then I package it. How do I package it? Should I perhaps send my package to the same destination I'm sending? Maybe there are multiple transfer orders. Should I put them on the same truck to save some money on the transportation? Should I do consolidated shipping? Should I do consolidated packaging? Think how mail works. Think how FedEx works. There are millions of packages in a daily basis being transferred around the globe. But what do they do? They have distribution center. So they ship a whole bulk to one center and then they distribute it again differently. They send it to the third, fourth, fifth center. And finally, they come to your door and knock on your door and they say, this is your package. Same story. You can manipulate that. In this example, if I wanted to say now I want to ship it, I picked it. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the pick quantity. But yet upon the shipment, the truck driver comes and say, wait a minute, I don't have enough space in my truck. I can't fill in all the 1500. You pick them is no longer on the original location.